On this edition of Open Den, we recap the amazing musical that our Reedy Theater put on and a look at human trafficking in Texas. These stories and more on this edition of Open Den. Welcome back to another episode of Open Den. I'm Cole Johnson. And I'm Ashley Arbro. Recently, our Reedy Theater performed The Little Mermaid. Here's a recap with Allie and Julia. From November 9th to the 11th, our theater put on the production of The Little Mermaid. Interestingly, this show was supposed to be done two and a half years ago, but COVID stopped it. We've been working on it for a while, but this year we started working on it in uh, September. A lot of time and commitment is put in on all sides of the company. It's really a collaborative experience. We say this is what we want it to look like. Um, we direct it, we say move here, move there, but the technicians and actors do the rest. I like being a tech because, I don't know, I, like, I love show theater and like being involved with that sort of thing. It's a very like creative outlet that I have. The tech plays a very important role for the lack of like recognition that they get most of the time in the show. I like to be behind the scenes and like be the artistic vision for people and not be in front of everyone. Uh, probably the most challenging thing would be memorizing lines and actually getting everything together because it feels so easy once like the first rehearsal is going and stuff but then the closer you get to show date you realize how much we have to really work to get towards the final product. It's a big commitment. You have to like remember a lot and really put in effort to like remember things and be your character. All of the hard work comes with many memorable moments. Best part of rehearsal is probably doing like the dance numbers because everybody's just on stage having fun and singing and and just feels like the real show. I think the best part of the show is like just being around everybody because everyone has such a great energy and just interacting with all the characters actors, techs. It's fun. I would say that the technicians and actors have put in a lot of time and effort. Um, aside from what Mr. Sure and I do, you guys make this show so great. Congrats on the amazing performances. From Open Den, I'm Allie Greenberg. Our Reedy Orchestra will be performing their cluster concert in the main Reedy Gym at 7.30 on Monday, December 5th. Be sure to come out and support our middle school and high school students. Human trafficking is still a problem in America, and more recently it's become more prevalent in Texas. We go to Priol with more on the topic. 200,000. This is the number of human trafficking cases in Texas as of 2019. As North Texas becomes more developed, we've seen a rise in cases of human trafficking in the area. But why is this happening, and what can we do to stay safe? Officer Anthony Newsom has served in the Child Safety Unit in the Dallas Police Department for 28 years. Throughout his experience, Officer Newsom has taken note of the influx of human trafficking in the North Texas area. Human trafficking have gotten worse in the North Texas area uh, due to the fact that it has uh, been made easier due to this age of technology for traffickers to get in contact with our teens. As DFW has become a predominant area for sex trafficking, the DPD has taken efforts to keep citizens safe. Uh, we try to educate parents on what they can do, educate teens, as well as school administrators as well about sex trafficking and, and some of the other things that are going on, on the Internet as well. Also, uh, what we've done is we have increased uh, the number of units that we have that work together concerning sex trafficking. While our officers keep us safe, it's important for us to implement safety protocols in our daily lives. You know, awareness of your surroundings, uh, your personal space. Never go anywhere alone if you can help it, um, you know, especially in the evening. You know, most of this takes place in the evening. So um, if you're out and about, if you're out having fun, which is great, I encourage everyone to do that. Just do it as a group um, and know where each other's at in your group. Just be aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. It's about the biggest thing you can do. 200,000 people is a number that should never be exceeded. Make sure to stay safe and report any information to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. I'm Pariel Talwar with Open Dead News. Reedy will be hosting a blood drive on December 9th. Here's Daniel with more. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. And high school blood drives are the main source of blood for the DFW area. The blood drive is on December 9th from 8.30 to 2.30. The goal is to collect over 100 units of blood. 
Students that are 16 and up can donate blood to earn some service hours and to help those that are in need. Students who donate two times can earn a red quarter to wear a graduation, showing that they saved over six lives. Students, make sure to go to bit.ly slash rhsblood22 to sign up, also located on the Reedy website. There you can see the different types and availabilities of when you would like to donate. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to Ms. Monroe at monroek at friscoisd.org or visit her room in B115. This has been Daniel Trevino for Open Den News. Be sure to check out our socials on Instagram and Twitter at RHS Open Den. Also make sure to check out our website at openden.org where you can find links to our newspaper stories and previous shows. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Cole Johnson. And I'm Ashley Yarbrough. Thanks for watching. And remember, roar, roar lines, lines roar. roar.